Hello chaps and chapesses, and this week we're going to talk about the Gills Winter Collection. Well, firstly, welcome to 2021. Uh, didn't start off quite how we had hoped, but there you are. We, these things happen and we just have to pick ourselves up and carry on. So in the meantime, I should be making quite a lot of review movies. And to that end, I wanted to talk to you about a selection of clothing that I got back in September and I have been using on the rivers for the last three months. Now, those of you who have uh, watched this channel before will know that I am a Gilts Pro, so I have been using Gills clothing on the salt flats for a very, very long time. So the normal clothes that I wear from Gills are these high neck saltwater flat shirts, which have got a buff built in. We call them the Pro Striker series. I really like those. They make a lot of other really good UV clothing. But I'm really excited about the fact that they are now moving into clothing that I can then wear when I'm in Iceland or whether I'm on the rivers here. In Hampshire. I'd like to introduce you to a few items which I have found particularly useful over the last three months. The first is their woven line of shirts. These are really comfortable. You know how some synthetic materials can feel rather sweaty or slightly itchy? This one feels far more like natural cotton but at the same time is a very technical fishing shirt. It's very comfortable to wear but it has a vented back which is really good when the weather is warm it has long sleeves, it has a button up so that you can have them halfway up your arms, which I prefer to fish like that. It has a zip pocket here, which is perfect for popping your phone or various other little bits and pieces like leader and stuff like that into. It's got a button down collar. Now, I at first thought, what on earth do you want a button down collar for? I thought, eh, but then I realized that when you are running on a flats boat or a boat of any kind, if you don't button down that collar, it flaps around all over your neck and hammers you, which is really uncomfortable. So that's why they have a button-down collar. As always, when they're designing clothing, gills think about little things which kind of are useful for fishermen. In the bottom corner of the shirt, they've actually built in a glasses microfiber cloth so that you can just whip out the corner of your shirt, give your glasses a quick clean, which I think is really clever. It's a nice loose-fitting shirt and it's just really comfortable to wear. And I've got them in a number of different nicely toned down colors, which works really well on the riverbank. And as usual, obviously they have the UPF 50 built into them. So you could wear them in the sun as well. And they're just, they are lightweight enough to wear on the flats if you wanted to. But at the same time, they're not so lightweight that you wouldn't want to wear them when you were fishing in this country. Next, I'd like to move on to this rather nice looking contender fleece that I'm wearing and modeling so beautifully. It is a mid-layer um, and it feels of a very cotton construction. It's mostly cotton. It's a very simple piece of kit, but a mid-layer is vital. It's one of those ones that I wear nearly all the time. It's got a great zippered po pocket right here that I can then throw a phone in or throw my wallet in if I need to. And it's just a really nice, comfortable, and if I so say myself, rather good looking mid-layer. Slightly reminds me of a sort of crew style top or something like that with a sort of nice high collar, although I don't tend to wear them like that. The next item that I got my paws on, which is absolutely fantastic, is this storm fleece. Now, I don't think I've ever seen a fleece like this before. It's, uh, it's made of a material which has got air bubbles trapped inside it, so it feels almost slightly spongy, and it reminds me of the fleece material that they make for wearing underneath crew clothing on ships. So it's, it's very dense material and it keeps you incredibly warm. It's what they call a space fabric because of the space inside it. And these air pockets create fantastic insulation in the really cold weather. It's very stretchy, which is good. 
I like a nice freedom of movement in my clothing for when I'm fishing. It's got a hood which comes down over the top when you can actually then pull on these cords and make it into a storm hood. And it's perfect for those days which are slightly colder. Um, it's vaguely water resistant so you're not too worried about a quick splash or actually if you're in a boat for example a bit of spray is absolutely fine. It'll handle all of that. Again little zip pocket here for little accoutrements and various other bits and pieces. Two big billows pockets for your hands to keep your hands warm. And I've just found this one of those one of those garments that I quite often reach for when I'm heading out. It just uh, goes straight over the top, over a top layer, and, uh, and it just keeps you really warm. And quite frankly, right now, that's been really helpful because it's been very cold over here. The other two items I wanted to talk about were the tournament trousers and the tournament anorak. Now, these bits of kit I used a lot over the course of the grayling season, uh, especially through the months of October, November, December, and they are absolutely fantastic. The tournament trousers are almost like a mountaineering style trousers. And to talk about those items, I tested them on the river while I was actually out grayling fishing. And this is what I thought. Today I want to tell you about this. This is the tournament anorak in the palm of my hand. This is one of the most useful pieces of kit I've come across in a long time. Folds right out. I'm fishing away and suddenly there's a quick drizzle. On it goes, and it's a really good waterproof skin, it's incredibly lightweight, very comfortable, plenty of stretch which is really important when I'm fly casting, and it keeps me dry, and that is obviously the most important thing. So this is a great thing to have in your tackle bag. My needs as a fisherman are hugely diverse. Quite often I am going to be fishing freshwater, I could be on a river, I could be on a chalk stream, I could be in Iceland, I could be on an Icelandic river, and then there are often times when I find myself on the salt flats as well. So I need to be prepared for anything. When it comes to clothing, I need clothing I can depend upon, and which is going to be functional, and which is going to be comfortable. So when it comes to some kind of fishing trousers, I'm really particular. So recently, I started wearing the Gilts Tournament Pants. Now these are almost like a mountaineering pant. The tournament pants are a four-way stretch material. They're breathable, they're water resistant. The design of the pants has seven pockets, including two big thigh pockets. The big thigh pockets are really useful for chucking some maps or uh, beat maps or anything else that I need in there. And I particularly like the knife pocket down the side, which is great for quick access to either knife or pliers. Not only are they comfortable and functional, they're also made of UPF 50 UV resistant material, which means I can wear them whether I'm on the river or whether I'm on the salt flats. Either way, they're equally adaptable. I have found them also to not only be good on the rivers, but also brilliant for wearing underneath waders. Well, I'm pretty excited that Gilts have started making clothing which we can wear all the year round. I'm very excited to see what they're going to come out with next. I know they're working on all sorts of projects, so I'm looking forward to seeing what else they're going to adapt across to the cold weather climbs. Well, if you are interested in looking at any of these items in more detail, then I shall leave links in the description below that you can go and take a look at. Now that we're slightly in a state of lockdown over here in the UK, the next series of videos that I will be doing, sadly, will be mostly be indoors and looking at reviews because I can't get out to film. But anyway, as always, I hope you found this little video useful. Welcome to 2021. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you like what we do, then you might consider going over to our Patreon page and giving us a few dollars a month. And we shall look forward to seeing you on the next one.